Hello everyone, Lattice Last Maurice from TheWanderingInvestor.com. So today is really exciting. So together with Luigi, we bought a house that is a pure investment here in Playa del Carmen, a nine minute walk away from the beach. And we're gonna go there and we're gonna do all of the numbers in detail in terms of how much the house cost us, how much rental income we're expecting, as well as all of the expenses to get to a net capitalization rate. So Luigi, are you happy? I'm so happy. You can't put a price. Listen, we're gonna do numbers, but you can't put a price on this, being this close to the beach. And anybody who's renting in that building is gonna be extremely happy to come to this just a few minutes away, so. So Luigi, why Playa del Carmen? Playa del Carmen is not just a tourist destination anymore, so it's growing very quickly. It's becoming a place that people wanna live here all year round, or it's at least six months of the year. So. It's got everything. We have the beach, we have the sun, we have all the amenities. It's a lot cheaper to live here than in a lot of other North American cities. So it's got a lot going for it. Yeah, there's a big, big boom in people moving here. So retirees, digital nomads, people who are just sick generally of politics back in the West, exactly. who just want to live free. So there's a ton of people moving to Playa del Carmen. Yeah. I mean, in the last video we did together, when you first came here 15 years ago, how many people lived here in Playa del Carmen? Yeah, it was about 18 years ago, and there was 20 to 22,000 people here. Now there's 349,000 is the last stat that I saw. And, you know, and we talked about digital nomads. Bali, Thailand, and Playa del Carmen, Tulum are the top places that uh, digital nomads and remote workers are, uh, are going to. So it really is a spectacular growth that we're seeing here. And you understand why. I mean, it yeah. really is a peaceful lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. So now we're going to go check out the house and do all of the numbers. Perfect. We, we just got off of 5th Avenue. The next block is 10th Avenue. And there's a lot of new buildings on 10th Avenue. And these are three new buildings. And there's a unit, a couple units left uh, in that building on the left, and it's going between. There's one for 170, the other one is for 200,000. And uh, for what? Got, studios or one bedroom? No, they're one bedrooms, and they've got balconies. One of them has a wraparound balcony, and they have beautiful views from the rooftop. Cool. So this is the house. So two, three months ago, Luigi called me when yeah. I was in Colombia. He's like, Ladislas, you have to come here, come check out this house. I took a flight for I don't know, 36 like, hours. Yeah, 36 hours or something, or 72 hours. I don't remember. Yeah. Really short trip. It was one day, one half day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this is it. So we ended up buying it together, 50-50. Yeah. So it's actually uh, it looks like a house, but actually has five apartments. Five cool. Minutes. So this apartment is actually the best one, but we don't have access to it, right? Not today. Cool. Not today. I mean, we might. Maybe we'll sneak in. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a two bedroom downstairs, and then there's uh, three more apartments in the back. Cool. Yeah. So it's four one bedroom apartments and one two bedroom apartment. That's right. We got the keys um, last week. Yeah, a few days ago, actually. It yeah. was really exciting. And um, yeah. two of the units are vacant right now, so we're going to go check them out. Cool. So Luigi, I wanted to ask you, um, what have you been growing here? What are you, <laughs> what are you up to? I swear that that wasn't me. That's it grows naturally here. <laughs> naturally fell into a, a pot and just started growing. It wasn't me. Cool. Um, so this is the courtyard. So I want to. Uh, we're going to convert this into like a common area where people can sit, chill out here, put some furniture out here. Going to put some nice plants. Going to remodel the whole thing. This is the, uh, and the lighting as well. Lighting and, and really make it a spot where people can actually enjoy. Right now it's being underused. This is our, our mascot. That's Francisco, Pancho. <laughs> he, uh, he lives upstairs. <laughs> and uh, this property comes out of coconut tree. Look at this palm tree. It's got a million coconuts up there, so you get fresh coconuts. So this is one of the, um, one of the apartments. Got to be completely, we're going to renovate it. It's a one bedroom, it's a full one bedroom. And so we paid $210,000 for this whole building. So four one bedrooms and one two bedroom. Yeah. So obviously all this is gonna be gone. We're getting a full reno, new, new kitchen, new floor, curtains, 
everything, paint job, new furniture, everything is going to be, this fridge is old, so. Uh, so come check out the, fr the fridge. So <laughs> there were some apparently lovely Argentinian tenants before, and they left this, so yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's moldy, uh, some moldy food. So yeah, so the kitchen's full kitchen. Uh, imagine with cabinets, we're going to put a new couch, so, so um, you know, the TV will be there, new lighting, the floor is this ugly tile floor, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to do a more modern, more Tulum style, you know, more Caribbean style. Okay, you just make yourself at home. And then uh, in here, this bedroom is really big. We can actually have a workstation here, so we're probably going to work, put a, a work desk so people can work. We're going to open this up, have bigger windows so a lot more light comes in. Really cool feature. I really love the barn door. It's really nice. But those with vision watching this, you can just imagine what this yeah. is going to look like. You know, the most important thing is the bones, the structure is good, and there's space. Having that and the location where, yeah. you know, few minutes from the beach, so we've already talked about that, but as long as the structure is good and the space is good, the rest, labor, we didn't talk about that, but labor is not that expensive here, so when we think coming from North America, from Canada, United States, or even Europe, you think reno, right away you're thinking thousands of dollars, you know, new kitchen, new this. So here, in our numbers, how much should we put for reno? 32,000. Cool. So 32,000 for five units. Yeah. So that just gives you a perspective of what it costs to do some of the rentals here. A lot of it is just cement work, which lasts forever, and that's what we're doing, and then just some little touches, some furniture. So it really doesn't cost that much. So adding the closing cost of about 7%, so about a bit over $14,000, the total investment we're expecting is about $256,000. That's right. For this building, five units completely redone. Right. So yeah, ugly, I mean, I think this is Versace, pretty sure. <laughs> or maybe it's Giorgio Armani, I don't know, but. So in, in the numbers, uh, Luigi, this unit, redone the one bedroom. How much rent in USD um, do you expect us to get conservatively? Conservatively, a one bedroom in this area, about $550 a month. Cool. Now, we might even be able to bump that a little bit more if we offer laundry and, and all the other amenities as we improve the building. But I think right now, just going into it after we renovate, 550. Yeah. So we went up one floor. The breeze is amazing. It yeah. really does change. So a little area, landing area for people can sit outside if they want. But we're going to also renovate this, this unit. We're going to put a bigger window in there. The color, I mean, what do you think about this color? Yeah. I don't know what they it were has thinking. To go. has to go. The floors are going to go. Furniture is going to go. Uh, kitchen, again, cabinets going to get a little remodeled. This fridge is, eh, we might keep it. I'm not sure. Um, I guess they were going with the Caribbean blue ocean look here, but I don't really like this blue. So the bathroom, again, reno. But they're big, big space. So again, the important thing is the space, and this is easily, you can put a queen size bed in here, and, uh, and we're gonna finish the, the cabinets for the closet. Cool. Yeah. So, so this unit again, same thing. It's the exact so, same, similar floor plan as the one downstairs. Uh, similar space, so again, this one about 550 a month. Can you tell us about the target market? Yeah, so the target here is typically, we're looking for people who are on a, on a salary, that work a good job, have a good salary, and even the digital nomad that wants to come down here, uh, have a little workspace. Um, they make good money every month. They're able to, to live in a nice one bedroom, nicely renovated, and uh, still be close to the beach and close to downtown. So that's, I think that's, that's what we're looking for, that kind of local market, so yeah. people living here, but that have you know a pretty good a pretty good salary. Yeah, so we're not absolutely not going for Airbnb. We're doing the kind of mid to long term market here. Mid to long term, yeah. Six so. months to a year contracts. Okay, so that's another one bedroom. The two bedroom is downstairs. Two how much downstairs. do you expect rental? How much rental income do you expect from the two bedroom? Minimum. I'm just gonna go here. Minimum, seven hundred dollars a month. Minimum, and we can even get a little bit more. But again, over time, we'll we'll improve the building. We'll get more. But seven hundred right off the bat. 
Cool. Yeah. What about property management? Because essentially Luigi is a realtor, real estate agent here on the Riviera Maya. Um, so he helps people find investment properties, lifestyle properties, or properties where people want to you know, spend one or two months per year in right. Playa del Carmen or in Tulum and then rent out the, the rest of the year. That's his specialty. But you're also doing property management now. That's right. So how much could people on average expect to pay for property management services for, for the long-term market? Like for this. long-term, you're looking at between 10 to 15%. Yeah, yeah probably 15% is, is probably pretty good. Because there's the property management part, and then there's the finding tenants part. Right, so there's managing the tenants, make sure the contracts are signed, marketing, so you yeah. can you never have a downtime, so you always have a next tenant ready when the uh, contract expires, so you never really have any low occupancy, you're always full. Uh, so that, you know, you got to pay for that. Yep. And you want to make sure that the building is taken care of. So, yeah, about 15% on the high end. Uh, very different from vacation rental. Vacation yeah. rental is a percentage for man administering the property. And then on top of that, they get another 25% of the vacation rental. So you don't need to worry about that here. So, yeah. yeah. Generally, I'm very conservative with my occupancy numbers in all of my analysis. Here, we put an occupancy estimate of 98% yeah. because there is just so much demand for such properties, especially yeah. once they're remodeled, walking distance away from Fifth Avenue and the beach that, I mean, you'll be able to find tenants in like a heartbeat. Yeah, it's pretty easy. So a lot of it is referral. So when someone leaves a nice place, they'll say, hey, you know, I have this really cool place. I got to leave. Why don't you take over my lease, you know, or take over the apartment? So referrals are good. And then also on, on Facebook Marketplace, as soon as you know that this place is going to be empty in two months, you put it on Facebook Marketplace, nice pictures, and you've, already got, you've got a lineup of people waiting to take it. Especially if you offer amenities, yeah. like some laundry and things like that, which is not always common in Playa. And you give people a nice place to live, and you're not going to have a problem finding people. Because people are going to be so paying, so this unit redone 550 per month, but it includes water. It includes their water. So how much per year will that cost us, roughly? So it's about $100, about $100 a month. Okay, so yeah. 1200 a year? 1200 a year, yeah. What about internet? The internet is included. Uh, there's two lines, one downstairs, one upstairs, so it's about $30 per line. It's about $60 a month. And what about the property tax? <laughs> Property tax, uh, get, sit down if you're watching this video. Uh, it's about $200 a year. Yeah. A year, not a month. Yeah, yeah. $200 a year. So it's pretty cheap. That's pretty much the standard in, in a lot of the area here in, in the Mine Riviera. Yeah. What about maintenance? How much would you, once everything has been redone, yeah. how much of a budget would you just put a set aside on a yearly basis for maintenance for electric? And this Something and happens, plumbing, whatever. It's good to run with about a $2,000. Uh, okay. budget that should be enough to cover your maintenance for the year you know maybe the hot water tank might leak something like that but otherwise that should be enough and cleaning so a cleaning staff so we do things a little differently here so we're gonna have a cleaning staff that's gonna come here two times a week uh, they're gonna sweep the common areas pick up the leaves take the garbage out make sure everything is clean on the exterior and part of the common areas the hallways the walkways the stairs and then we have this cleaning staff that comes in and cleans the apartment once a month. It's part of a clause in our rental agreement. They come in, they clean the units once a month. It's also a way for us to make sure that our apartments are being cleaned properly every month. And that people don't grow this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's, it is legal now here. But uh, So that's about $4,000 a year to have that type of service. And it's a good thing to do because then we can keep really, we can keep control of the... Some people don't clean for an entire year, and when they give you back the key... I mean, this apartment downstairs is horrific. Right, they give you back the key and it's a surprise, so we want to make sure we don't get any surprises at the end of the stay. Yeah. So the numbers, we're expecting about $20,000 of net rental income per year before right. income tax. So that is a net cap rate of a bit over 8%. 8%. Yeah. But I think what's really interesting about this place is not just the numbers, the fact that we're paying very cheap per square meter right. and the fact that we have all these units and that the cap rate is decent, but it's the upside. Yeah. So it's literally, let's, let's go up there. So this is core to the thesis, to the investment thesis. That's right. So the idea here is always to look for properties that have the potential to grow 
And obviously not just by increasing rents, but also by increasing the amount of units. So up here, we could definitely build another three units. So we would have two more one bedrooms and then another two bedroom. And potentially go one more floor. Yeah. So we're gonna check with the engineer. The engineer who built this says we can go two more floors, but I just wanna double check. Yeah. But we can actually potentially go three more units and then another three more units. So it's another six units, uh, which is phenomenal. So the investment thesis was based on one additional floor. That's right. If we can get two, amazing. amazing. If we don't, it's fine. And then the rooftop, we would add, um, would make sure that it, it looks good as well. So we'd have like a barbecue, some tables, maybe a little Lounge plunge chair, pool. A little, yeah, plunge pool would be nice. And then we'd bring the Wi-Fi. So we'd get another line of Wi-Fi, which would be another $30 a month. We would add that so that people can go upstairs and just work, work by the yeah. plunge pool, work outside and have good Wi-Fi. And here there's like space that hasn't been utilized. No. So we'll actually turn this one bedroom apartment into a, a two, two bedroom. bedroom apartment yeah. here as well. So essentially we bought four one bedroom apartments and one two bedroom apartment. And then eventually we'll have at least three two bedroom apartments and then six one bedroom apartments and potentially we don't know an extra floor yeah we're I, i'm pretty sure we can do it but we'll see we didn't want to include that just now but uh yeah so we have a lot of potential and if you take a look around too take a look at all the buildings that are being built this is where all the growth is coming it's coming north that's where we're heading and uh so it's quite profitable uh, we, we're seeing a good exit in the future as well yes this is an exciting project so in terms of construction costs, roughly, if we were going to add an additional floor, roughly about $100,000, where we'd be looking at gross rental yields of 20% if we managed to add an extra floor, which is very decent, to say the least. Yeah, absolutely. And that 100000 to build those extra units, that's not just construction costs. That's also with the appliances, with the kitchen done and some furniture. So it's it's very, very affordable. So we immediately have some capital gains on this as well. Yeah. So Luigi, are there other similar deals in this whole area of Playa del Carmen, which is still developing? I mean, the reason we're getting a deal like this is, I mean, you saw um, it's not particularly beautiful for now, but it will be. Well, that's where the growth is going. As, as we zoomed out, there's all these new buildings, but you know, there are, I have a couple in mind. There is a couple of buildings that are similar that have already four or five units and then have the potential to add more units. And it's in this area and they're very uh, accessible in terms of price. Yeah, we're looking for deals. We're looking to potentially buy more together Absol actually. Absolutely. Well, that's. I don't know if, if it's comparable, but you know, some people will say once they get one tattoo, they right away, they want to get another one and another one. For us, it's real estate. Once you buy one, two, yeah. you, you just want to get more and more and more. So uh, it's, it's exciting. It's cool. exciting, yeah. Fantastic. So there's, I wrote a whole analysis on the real estate investment market here in Playa del Carmen. There's a link below. So which neighborhoods are interesting, which neighborhoods are not interesting. And also if you wanna get in touch with Luigi, there's a link below. He can help you with all of your real estate needs here in Playa del Carmen, in Cancun, and in Tulum, in the whole Riviera Maya, whether it's investment or lifestyle or a mix of the two. Right, absolutely. All right, well, thank Luigi. You. Congratulations. I'm, I'm looking forward to the next video here. Yes. I don't know, in like one year, two years, once we've moved forward with this project. But let's do a year, let's do less than a year actually. Even the before and after with what we already have, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be pretty exciting. You're gonna see a nice, a nice difference. Yeah. All right, fantastic. Cool. cool. Thank you. Cheers. Ciao. Make sure to download my free ebook, 12 Mistakes to Avoid When Investing in International Real Estate, which you can find on my website, link below, and feel free to follow me on Instagram, at The Wandering Investor. I look forward to hearing from you.